Hi again, you're tuning in to Math with Mullins. This is your host, Mrs. Mullins. Today we're going to be focusing on lesson 1.3, subtracting integers. Today you're going, to, you're going to be looking for six things to write in your notes, so just make sure before the end of the video you have all six of those things written down. Once you have your notes labeled, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to look at is what does it actually mean to subtract integers? When you subtract integers, you're going to add its opposite. An easier way to remember that though is keep, change, change, or KCC. Okay, what this is what keep, change, change is going to look like. Remember, subtracting integers can be any subtraction problem with positive or negative whole numbers. I've already done the first one on the left hand side for us. This is what keep change change or KCC will look like. I'm just going to take this problem 3 minus 4 and write it a little bit bigger so I can write underneath it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply keep the 3. See how the 3 was kept. I'm going to change the subtraction problem to an addition one and then I'm going to also change the 4 to its opposite, negative 4. Notice how I just added the opposite. I changed from addition, subtraction to addition and changed the 4 to a negative 4. KCC will go, go for, to one part of the puzzle. So K will go to the first number, C will go to the subtraction, and then the second C will go to the next number. Here's another example I have. Negative 2 minus negative 7. I've written it spaced out so I can apply the KCC. Keep, change, change. So I'm going to keep the negative 2. I'm going to change subtraction to addition. And then I'm going to also change the 7, sorry, the negative 7. I'm going to change it to its opposite, which would be a positive 7. Now we're back to looking at addition problems, which is what we've already been talking about and what we've already been learning. Make sure you have time to write down this stuff on this page. So if you need to pause the video, let's go ahead and pause it to rewrite everything that's on this slide. Once you're done, click play, and we'll go on to question number two. So for number two, we're just going to write down the steps for subtracting integers. The first thing you're going to have to do is fix the subtraction problem by showing KCC. Remember, KCC is keep, change, change. Once you have keep change changed it, then you're just essentially going to go back to what we've been doing, which is adding the integers using the rules from the song we sang. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of a larger value, then you'll be exact. Very easy, very simple. The only thing different about subtraction problems with integers is that you have to fix it first. Make sure to go ahead and pause the video now to write down the steps, both one and two, and once you're done, click play, and we'll try some questions. So here are some questions and examples about how we can show adding the opposite. You will be writing this in your notes. Notice the green circle here, and this is your number three. If you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video to see if you can rewrite these yourself without having me to help you. If not, you can just watch me and follow along of how I'm going to show keep, change, change for each one of these. So here's the first one, negative 3 minus 10. I'm going to keep, change, change it to rewrite to show adding the opposite. Keep the negative 3, change subtraction to addition, and change 10 to negative 10. I am going to put the negative 10 in parentheses because the negative 10 is right next to the plus sign. What you don't want to have is this, and it looks really jumbled here. That's a no-no. You always want to make sure that you're separating your negative sign from your addition sign. Let's look at the next one. Keep change changing again. Keep the 3, change subtraction, change 25. Keep 3 change subtraction to addition, and change 25 to negative 25. The next one, again, we're keep change changing. Keep negative 17, 
change subtraction to addition, change negative 9 to positive 9. Another way to do this, it might be a little bit simpler for you guys and girls, is to just do two pencil strokes. Here's what I mean. Two pencil strokes will look like this. I simply just rewrote the negative 17 minus negative 9. I'm still going to be doing the keep change change concept, except all I have to do is change addition or subtraction to addition and negative 9 to positive 9. Notice how my two pencil strokes that I did in blue have changed it from negative 17 minus negative 9 to negative 17 plus positive 9. You could do it the same thing over here with 3 minus 25. Again with the two pencil strokes, I'm going to show this in a different color. Keep, change, change. 3 plus negative 25. Either way you want to do it is fine. Just make sure that you're writing this the correct way. Go ahead and take time to make sure you have paused the video and write all of this stuff down. So you've got it in your notes. Once you're done, click play. So we'll go on to see the next few. These I'm just going to try so you can watch how these are done. Each one of these, I'm going to have to keep change change it because they are all subtraction problems. I only keep change change subtraction problems. Here we go. Keep change changing 8 minus 3 will be 8 plus negative 3. Now I'm ready to subtract them or use the addition song. Same sign? Nope. Different signs? Yes. Different signs subtract. So I'm going to subtract 8 and 3 and I'm going to get 5 and then keeping the sign of the larger value that's going to be 8 so my answer is 5. Number 2, 9 minus 17 will change to 9 plus negative 17. They're not same signs so I'm not going to add and keep. They are different signs so different signs subtract. 9 take away 17 I'm going to get 8 and then Keep the sign of the larger value, that's going to be a negative, so my answer will be negative 8 for number 2. Over here, negative 3 minus 3, I'm going to use my two pencil strokes for this one, plus negative, so I get negative 3 plus negative 3. Same sign, add and keep, so I'm going to add it, 6, keep the negative, negative. Okay? Just so you know, I kept keep change change from the original problem if that confused you at all. These next ones you're going to try by yourself. Remember, you've got to keep change change first, then sing your song. Okay, so go ahead and take the time now to pause and try. Once you're done, click play so you can check your work. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check our work. 3 minus 12. I'm going to keep change change it to 3 plus negative 12. Same sign, add and keep, different sign subtract. Since they're different signs, I'm going to subtract them. 12 take away 3 is 9. And then I'm going to keep the sign of the larger value, which is 12. So I'm going to keep that negative. Negative 9 is my answer for letter A. Letter B, keep, change, change. Keep negative 8. Change negative or subtraction to positive. Change negative 13 to positive 13. These are different signs, so I'm going to subtract them. 8 take away from 13, I get 5. Keeping the sign of the larger value, there are more positives here, so I'm going to keep my answer as a positive as well. The last one, 5 minus negative 4. Again, keep change, change. Keep 5, change to addition, change negative 4 to positive 4. Boom, 5 plus 4, super easy. Same sign, add and keep, I get 9. How did we do? The last part I want you to watch, and then you're going to try two of these on your own. These are a little bit different because now you have one, two, three things to look out for. You do not do keep change change to the whole entire thing. You do keep change change a little bit out of time. This is what I mean. What we're going to do is we're just going to focus on this, these first two numbers. Keep, change, change. I can only do keep, change, change to three things at a time. And here I have one, two, three, four, five things. So I'm going to wait to do the minus 14 after I'm done doing the negative 7 minus negative 12. I'm going to keep, change, change. So that's negative 7 plus positive 12. 
negative 7 plus positive 12, those different signs, so I'm going to subtract them, and I get 5. Okay, 5 is going to stay positive because 12 is a larger number. It's got more positives than the negative 7. I still need to deal with this minus 14, so I'm just going to bring that down. Now I've got this one. Now I, now, now I can apply the keep change change to the minus 14 because I have one, two, three things to deal with. Keep the 5, change subtraction to addition, change 14 to negative 14. Again, different sign subtract. 5 take away 14 is going to give me a 9, and I'm going to keep the sign of the larger value, which is 14. So that's going to give me negative 9. How did we do? <coughs> These next two, you're going to try on your own. Again, take it three things at a time. So I'm going to kind of get you started on number five. Keep, change, change. Wait to do the minus eight. Number six, keep, change, change. Wait to do the minus nine. Go ahead right now and pause the video so you can try these two on your own. When you are done, click play to check your work. Here we go, number five, keep change changing the first three things. Keep negative nine, change subtraction to addition, change 16 to negative 16. I have a negative plus another negative, that's same sign, add and keep. So negative, 19, negative nine plus negative 16 is negative 25. I still have this minus eight, so I need to bring the minus eight down. And then I do keep change change all over again. Here I'm going to do this in another color so you can see it a little bit better. Keep change changing. Keep negative 25. Change a subtraction to addition. Change 8 to negative 8. I'm going to keep them separated so it doesn't look all jumbled. Same signs. I have two negatives being added together. So add and keep 25 plus 8. That's going to give me 33. And then I'm going to just keep that negative right where it is. Last one on this page, again, starting with keep, change, change, the first three. Keeping negative four, changing subtraction to addition, and 20 to negative 20. Negative four plus negative 20 is negative 24. Bring down this minus nine, because that's still left over. And then I start the keep, change, change process all over again. Keep, change, change. Negative 24 is kept, changing the subtraction to addition, changing 9 to negative 9. Negative 24 plus negative 9 is also going to give you negative 33. Same sign, add and keep. How did we do? This is going to conclude our video on subtracting integers. Remember what you learned today. You have to keep change change first, then sing your song. Go ahead now and check the board to see what you're supposed to do next. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.